Hey everyone, this is Prince Watercrest, and welcome back to Let's Play Flight of the Amazon Queen. In the last episode, we went to the ferry, because there's no place else left to go. And, to be quite honest, it's the only way we're going to be able to go to Sloth Island to find that crystal skull. We also talked to the ferryman. It's Charon! who has also featured in games past on the channel, most notably Super Ninja Boy and Johnny Bazooka Tone. And, well, I kind of like this game's version of Charon a little bit. I mean, it's pretty obvious what he does, but at least this Charon has a sense of humor. I like him. Well, he's trying to catch a fish, but he has no bait. And until we get him bait, we can't go to Sloth Island. Thankfully, we have the bug. Now, earlier in the game, we saw a beetle flying around and a fish trying to jump up out of the water to grab at it and eat it with his mouth. And obviously, that's a little bit of a clue. So what we need to do is give the beetle to the ferryman. I found you some bait. Try this. And you can talk to the ferryman if I can. There we go. A fish still biting? I've had a few Obviously, if we ask the first question, we're going to advance the plot. Let's go ahead and talk to Charon and get to know Charon, even though we probably already have him known a little bit. Do you do anything else besides fishing? One for me? So I will. In due time, I will. <laughs> I don't think Joe King knows exactly what kind of long term holiday package that is. Anyway, let's ask about Sloth Island. What do you know about Sloth Island? And let's ask him what he knows about Flota. You know about Flota? Of course I do. I've been ferrying them across to the island all month. They keep sending people over to try and find some crystal skull. None of them have ever come back. And let's ask how big Sloth Island is. How big is Sloth Island? It's not that big. It's actually... And, uh, this is kind of a weird question to ask, but we might as well ask it anyway. Do you take tour groups through the temple? Not since that impalement incident, I told everyone in the group not to touch any of the sharp, pointy objects. But did they listen? Of course not. Thanks for the information. That's okay. And, well, we've exhausted all of our dialogue options, so now it's time to go to Sloth Island. Will you take me to Sloth Island now? Oh, all right. You fulfilled your end of the deal. Okay, let's go.
such a nice guy. I guess I better find that skull. Of course, once you go over the soft island, there's no turning back, so you'd better be ready. You might as well look at the statues, there's not really much else to look at here. And the other one. It looks nice. And now we can walk to the entrance. And we have all these holes. If you click on any one of them. We got two doors, and we got a little statue with a socket and a slot. And let's look at the slot first. It's a small thin hole in the statue head. And let's look at the socket. It's empty. All right. Well, doesn't matter which door we go into. There's not a lot of rooms here, so let's just go in one certain direction. And we have a bunch of. Wrapped up bodies here. Let's look at them. Whoa, now that's what I call ugly. It looks so old it's starting to come to pieces. This guy could do with some skin moisturizer. Even though he's dead. It looks so old it's starting to come to pieces. I wonder. Since it's so old it looks like it could break apart. Could they we touched it? It does. Let's go ahead and do it to the rest of them. And as we do this, we'll find some things. Such as a leg bone. And a rib cage. Now if you look at any one of the bones, you'll get the same description every time. Either when you look at them before collecting them, or if you look at them through the inventory. Well, there's nothing else to do here, so let's go ahead and go over here. Besides more bodies, we have a dino rat. Let's look at the dino rat. Looks like a cross between a dinosaur and a rodent. Cute though. Well, no way. I'm allergic to rodents. Well, we can't pick him up. Genetically mutated one. At all. And it is a dinosaur rodent thing. What if we were to give the cheese bits to the dino rat? The dino rat eats them and runs away. Interesting. Well, you have more bodies, but they just give us the same dialogue from Joe King as the four in the other room did. So we might as well just go ahead and pick at the bodies to make them crumble. That one gives us nothing. That one gives us nothing. That one gives us a skull. I will definitely take it. And this one probably gives us nothing. Well, never mind. It gives us an arm bone. Well, we have four parts in all. We have everything that we need. And once we go through this door, we're back in the entrance. Which means... We've done all the exploring that we can possibly do at this point. Which means we need to start doing things. The thing in the center. It looks very humanish, Because it is. You already have two arms and a leg in place. You just need to put everything else in its proper place. So the leg bone goes here. Hey now, don't do that to me, inventory. We need to put the skull up top. It fits. And you'll get that as soon as you put the skull in. And we put this rib cage right here in the middle. Of course, that leaves us with one more thing. The arm bone. Believe it or not, as much as you would like to put it in the little skeleton we've just set up, you can't do that. Your game doesn't let you. It doesn't give you any messages if you mouse over any of the slots. So, what you want to do is put the arm bone in the socket of this statue. And from here, you can use the arm bone. Hmm, that didn't work. 
Hmm, well, there is a slot. And it seems like a weird jackpot thing of some sort, some slot machine. I don't know why I called it a jackpot. I, mu I must have... I'll just use one coin. I must be thinking too far ahead, but if you use a coin in the slot, Joe coin, Joe, Ke Joe coin. Great. I can't English anymore. Joe King will put a coin in the slot. And from here, we can use the arm bone again. Looks like I hit the jackpot. Move the thing a little bit. A secret passage. I better get the arm bone. Hopefully you people are able to hear me. Come in handy. And of course we take the arm bone back in case we need it for later, which if the game is doing it for us automatically, we probably will. But anyway, there's nothing else that we can do here. We might as well just go ahead and walk to the exit. Where else is there to go? Obviously, the answer is man. It's the riddle of the Sphinx. And as much as I would love to give any of these humorous answers, I do want to ask who this is that we're looking at. What the heck are you? I am the Temple Guardian. I make sure that no one proceeds without answering my clever riddle. And... Hmm, might as well ask about the crystal skull. I'm looking for a crystal skull. Seen one? Crystal skull? I know of no such thing. Now what's the answer to my riddle? And it doesn't really matter which dialogue option you picked because Well, you just go back to this. From here, you can ask what the question is again, even though we already know what it is. Or we can give one of the three answers that Joe King has, even though they're obviously not the right one. Obviously, I'm going to use this one because it's the most humorous. It's me after a visit to Al's Bar and Grill. That's a very poor attempt at humor. I'll give you another go. What's the answer? And now it's a butt thou must situation again. And this time we can give the right answer. It's man in his three stages of life. So let's go ahead and pick that one. I know. It's man in his three stages of life. You got it right. Man crawls as a baby early in his life. He walks upright in the middle of his life. And he walks with a walking stick in his later years. And... I might as well ask the second dialogue option first. the temple, then I will reveal all. So I got it right. Now what? Well, now I can let you proceed through the temple. Only those worthy of the riddle may do so. And you are worthy. I like that riddle. Thanks for the riddle. I'll see you later. Only if you are good enough. And from here, we can go places. I'm going to go ahead and start with the left door. See what we have. And we we could look at the body, but any way over there. we can't do that yet because we can't go over there. I can't see any way over there. And you can't go to either of these lower level doors, so this one door here to your left is the only one you can go to for now. As you can see, there is a Flota employee there. I guess you could call him that. He is met with a rather grisly end. And here, we have a snake and a door. It's completely white. Must be due to the lack of light down here. 
And can we look at anything else? Doesn't seem that way. Well, I'm pretty sure the snake won't mind if we go through this door. I'll stay right here. Never mind. He, the snake does mind. Well, I don't think we seem to have anything that would help us right now, as far as I know. So, let us go back. And as much as I would like to look at anything else, I don't think the game will let me. You'll just have Joe King saying, hey, I can't go over there right now. So let's not. Let's go back. And let us go to the door on the right. And see what that leads us to. Hopefully it'll lead us to something a little more interesting and probably some place that we can go. Well, we have a doorway, but we also have a door up there we can't get to. We have a stone slab, we have a pulley, and a pulley rope. Let's look at all this first. There's a rope attached to the top of it. Ah, I see. I see the rope now. Let's... Oh, you can look at the spindle. I can't see any way over there. Unfortunately, you, it's probably up on the upper area. Let's look at the rope. I can't see any way over we there. can't look at that either. We gotta be up there to look at the spindle and the pulley ropes. We can look at the pulley, though. It's a heavy stone wheel with a small hole in it. And that's all that we can examine. Interestingly enough. Well, Talk about rude. obviously he is working for Flota. If his uniform is any indication, I want to think that maybe we have seen him before. There's a door there. There's a door there. But we can't get to there from here. So we just need to walk to the path. And from here, there is a body and three zombie women. Let's go ahead and look at the body. Apparently, that is other another that is another Florida employee who has met an untimely end. Looks like he didn't get too far. Yeah, you can see the blood coming right out of him. Poor guy. Well, you can search the body. Sadly, you cannot do that in this game. So. We might as well talk to the zombie woman. But I do believe that I will save that for the next video. So let's go ahead and make our entries for the practice run and the save file I want to make for the next video. And then we'll call it right here. Join me next time where we talk to these three zombie women. See what they're doing. See why they're standing around. Hopefully it won't lead to anything bad. And then we'll explore the rest of the temple. Until then, this is Prince Watercress. Take care, stay safe, and thanks for watching!